So this is my final project, and I'll try to be brief. Um, it will be developed in this school, Colégio Gonçalo Valdez. It's my first school because I did these two ones, but now this is uh, the one who made it really difficult <coughs> for me to come. So <coughs> it's very I will present my project, and it looks through from the first to the third year, but then I will um, apply this to the first year, I think. There are groups of 30 students in each. I have two first years, and there are um, 30 students in each group. Oh, and the top is, is communication and classroom interaction. Uh, the purpose of this project is provide opportunity for the students to interact and speak more fluently because they are, I told you the first time, they are very shy and um, they love to speak during the, the breaks. They are not shy during the breaks, <laughs> but during the classes they don't want to talk in English. <laughs> <laughs> so if they can interact and speak in the classroom without uh, rows, they would be more confident and they would speak more fluently and um, be confident about their speaking ability. My reasons for selecting the topic. Um, we all know that speaking is uh, a very complex uh, skill because it involves not only vocabulary and intonation and pronunciation, but the whole psychological process. Including correction and overcoming timidity. Um, I believe that foreign and natural context will provide this opportunity for the students. They are free to speak and interact. And also, because in my school, I don't have the language to score because I don't have computers. I told you about that. But they have a stage. And it's a very big auditorium. And the stage is fantastic. And the students like to use it when they are presenting. Now I want them to present things in English. Uh, I have some background information from the book I read, Or and Write. Um, classes tend to be teacher-centered, not only because the students are not interested in the subject. Many times it's because of that, but many times it's because the teacher has to speak too much because the students don't speak. And um, it is a funny conversation, it's quick conversation, it's a, a funny conversation, the sketch. They, um, they take little time, little material, and um, as Earl and Bright said, they don't need much preparation for their natural their English teacher. So it will help. able to write a sketch by themselves and act it out using the vocabulary and structure of words. The topic is answer in the form. Why I choose this topic? Because in my book, I have great friends. The students don't have this book. The books are for the second and third year. But then I have this topic here, and it's about uh, theater. It's a sketch. And the topic is answer in the phone because it was in the, the lab. Uh, as a warm-up activity, I divide this, the, the group in the, the classes in five groups of each group will have six students, and they are going through some of pictures, you know, the magazines of people using cell phones. These old cell phones or mobile doesn't matter. The group should choose and paste. Each group will choose one picture and paste it on the board. And then I will introduce the topic by saying that, well, some, one day some um, people called me and then they asked me for a picture, and it's true. It's, it's a true story. And I was at home. <laughs> and I don't work in a pizzeria. So obviously they had 
and wrong numbers? Um, and <coughs> these students have, I refer to the teachers and say, well, how about those people? You teach those people and you don't know them, do you? Okay, do not. What if they called you? They would have the wrong number. What would they say? What would be your reaction? And it will make them think about that. Then they have this small conversation and I give them a brief feedback. The material, me, this is only teachers of magazines and tech. You know what tech is? Okay. Um, then uh, I distribute the copies of the text and we are going to read and we, we are going to read it. And we are going to work a little uh, on the vocabulary, the structure, and the humor, the humor in the, the, the phrase, the sketch, because it is, it is like, it's about a man who is at home and he is waiting for a president call, and then everybody uh, calls him, obviously he's not the president, and they all have the wrong number, and by the end of the play, uh, someone calls him, and then he says, I'm, I, I, I'm not this uh, Paul, if I'm not wrong, the, the name of this person, um, I'm not this Paul. And then he says, no, I am Paul. I want to know if there is a message, any message for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, this is the book. Have to run. The activity. Then the, uh, we'll, we'll have a group work, and they are going to read it. But imagine they are the person in the play, and then the group's prepared to act out. And I go walking around and observing them and helping my students. The colleagues, the groups present the sketch, the colleagues take notes while they are presenting. Uh, they can uh, say about expressions and uh, intonations and vocabulary used, anything, pronunciation. And I'll give them a uh, brief feedback. Uh, as a closure, they will have a homework. They have to write a sketch on the subject and prepare a presentation, but this time including scenery, props, and everything they think, costumes and everything they think is needed for the play. Uh, they are going to present it on the stage. Uh, the sketch must, must be submitted to me in anticipation for review. And um, I want to do it in a, a very special day we are going to, to, uh, to paste posters announcing the, the, the plays, the sketches, and then we are going to present it. This is something that happens there too soon, but it's still really long. And I'll call my director and all the teachers to be there. This is uh, our director, our principal. Very nice. dialogues in class, you know, because they have the pictures. Okay. And you're like, oh, imagine this guy called you. Okay, he's gorgeous. I'm going to call him. <laughs> I'm not going to say he, ha he got the wrong number. Anyway. <laughs> but they, do they come up with, with nice ideas and they create the dialogues? How, how does it work with that? Well, uh, the first time I did it, it was not the same topic. Mm -hmm. It was another thing. But I hope, and uh, I'm sure they will uh, do it. Uh-huh. Because we have the example in the book, so okay. it, it will make it easy. All right, I hope so. Okay. And uh, also, because now we are uh, things are coming up. And uh, are are you are you thinking about uh, working with them with uh, uh, when you have to refuse, when you have to accept this kind of vocab? You know, uh -huh. have you thought about yes. uh, introducing this topic together? Because it fits a lot. To, to the okay. I'm gonna say yes. No, I'm gonna refuse. How do you say that? How to solve polite, maybe? Yeah. Of course. And this is the. It's one of the last. I think it's unit ten. Uh -huh. But this is 
one of the last many tables. Mm -hmm. So they have a lot of chairs mm -hmm. already. Any other questions? No. Is it good? One more time.